The brand new skill cap UI is basically a cheat code for Cataclysm. That's right, the same add-on we developed for Dragonflight is available right now for Classic. And all you need to do is head over to our new Cata website at skillcap.com using the links below, where you can download our complete package. Instead of spending hours or even days figuring everything out, our UI is custom built to give you everything you need in just a matter of seconds. After installing the free profiles, you can type in slash SC and then click the drop down on the left to enter the import window to install extra profiles for Plater, Omnibar, and Omni CD. You can find your import code on our website by clicking on the add ons tab and then generating the code to paste in game. And while you're there, you can get a preview of our new website that includes hundreds of guides designed to get you ahead fast. From damage, CC, defensives, and more, we've got everything covered so you don't miss out on rating gains. As always, everything is backed up by a rating gain guarantee. So to get the rating you truly deserve, head to the discount link in the video description. For now, stay tuned as we walk you through all of our UI features one by one. Our brand new Plater profile might be the most powerful part of our add-on package. Instead of having millions of different debuffs cluttering your screen, we customized Plater to display information clearly in a few different places. The top left of each nameplate is where we put the most important maintenance debuffs, including dots, slows, and so on. Our profile gets even more OP and can actually help you make better plays and maximize damage in Arena. That's because any important enemy defensive CD will be displayed on the top left of the nameplate, allowing you to swap immediately if needed. And when you do swap, you will easily see who you are targeting thanks to a subtle white border on your target's nameplate. Our goal was to make our Kata nameplates resemble the retail profile we had for better Blizz plates. Our buff and debuff tracking is fully customized for every spec, working right out of the box on any new character once our premium profile is installed. Our Plater profile even makes it easier to track friendly positioning. Instead of health bars, we simply display class icons above your teammates in Arena only, making it much easier to follow where they are on the map and being incredibly useful for any healer. And if you play a class with a secondary resource like combo points, they will even be neatly displayed right below your target's health bar, allowing you to keep your eyes in the right place. We've even included some custom scripts into our nameplates to reduce screen clutter by reducing the opacity of minor annoyances like mirror images. And if all of this wasn't enough, Plater will even display the numbers 1, 2, and 3 above enemy players, making it much easier to use your Arena 1, 2, 3 macros. So yeah, you could say our Plater profile is pretty damn good. Omnibar and Omni CD are the other two add-on profiles available to Skillcat members. Just like our retail version, the Omnibar profile divides enemy cooldowns into four categories. Interrupts, which are slightly scaled up to help fake cast, and then right above are defensive cooldowns, letting you know who the best kill target is. At the top are CCs, which can help indicate when a swap is coming or when you might be vulnerable to a CC chain. Finally, we made a unique bar for any spells that can potentially ruin your CC, like Grounding Totem, Spell Reflection, or even Dark Simulacrum. These are placed directly above our Gladi frames, allowing you to check for any counters to your spells. Separating different cooldown types on Omnibar makes it easier to absorb information quickly instead of needing to sift through the clutter of one giant bar. Our Omni CD profile was designed with the same philosophy, tracking only the most relevant cooldowns, including PvP trinkets, defensive CDs, and then any major CC. By taking a minimalist approach to Omni CD, you will have less information overload and will have an easier time making coordinated decisions with your team. Even though these three premium profiles are exclusive to Skillcap members, everyone can use our add-on to configure the majority of your UI for PvP. This includes weak auras that we custom tailored for Cataclysm PvP. Most of the weak auras in our UI were designed at Skillcap in collaboration with expert Cata players. The first is a tracker for major enemy cooldowns, including things like Shadow Dance, Rapid Fire, and Demon Soul, which we've placed in the top half of your screen above your character. Anytime you see an icon appear here, you know it might be time to buckle up. We also adapted our buffs and debuffs weak aura for Cataclysm. If you have any major defensive cooldown active, it will appear directly in the center of your screen, on your character, letting you know you are possibly safe. Major debuffs like Colossus Smash and Combustion will appear here too, giving you more information on how much damage you are taking, without needing to look all the way in the corner of your screen for the same information. We then adapted our class buffs weak aura for Kata. Anytime you have a damage amp rolling, whether it's from a proc or major offensive cooldown, it will appear directly to the right of your character. This is a pseudo replacement for the Blizzard personal resource display in retail, which wasn't yet implemented in Kata. This weak aura is great for learning a new class as a beginner, and even maximizing damage as an advanced player, since once again, you will be able to monitor important damage buffs without needing to take your eyes off the action. On the left of your character, we've even included a weak aura for any spell or proc with an internal cooldown. 
These include trinkets, the tailoring cloak proc, class specific buffs, and so on. Anything with an important ICD will show up here. Then directly below your character, we've included a personal resource display for any player who wants a familiar retail experience. Here, you will easily be able to glance your HP and any secondary resource. Our last week or is quite simple and notifies you of any class buff you might be missing. For instance, druids can see whether they need to buff Mark of the Wild, hunters will get notified of missing pets, and warlocks will be able to see if they are missing a health stone. Basically, if you forget to do something, it will show up here. Important missing buffs like Dark Intent for Warlocks will even display while in combat, letting you know when it's time to reapply in case you get purged. We then copied over community-made weak auras, including the game-changing healer in CC, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then the enemy healer drinking weak aura, which will be useful in those long 2v2 games. All of this might seem like a lot, but remember, you are always free to enable or disable whatever you'd like. So if you find yourself overwhelmed by ICDs or the personal resource display, feel free to turn them off. All right, moving on. Instead of Gladius, we went with Gladi, but preserved the exact same functionality. As you can see, we increased the size of the enemy cast bar to be more visible in Arena. Then we went ahead and moved the racial cooldown to the right of the PvP trinket. And if you're wondering where Dispel is, remember that Dispel has zero cooldown in Kata, so there's no need to track it. We've even configured Gladi to increase the visibility of the most important shaman totems, including Tremor, Grounding, Healing Stream, Spirit Link, and Mana Tide which are all scaled up to be larger than other shaman totems. Our gladi will display everything else exactly the same to our retail gladius, with DRs appearing to the left of health bars and any CC being indicated on top of class icons. And speaking of DRs, our package also includes Diminish, to show any CC DR currently affecting your character, which is displayed near your player frame, which lets you know when it's safe to push in. One key difference between our retail and classic package is how we manage important buffs and debuffs. Instead of Omniora's, we use a combination of big debuffs and buff overlay, but the functionality is exactly the same. Big debuffs includes multiple quality of life improvements to unit frames, including increasing the size of important CC debuffs on unit frames, making them significantly more visible. We then adjust the size and number restriction of other debuffs, and increase the maximum buff limit to 6, which is enormously helpful for any healer. We also use big debuffs to add more visual clarity to nameplates by displaying active CC and even complete damage immunities directly to the right of the health bar. So along with our plater and weak auras, virtually all the important information you need will be contained in the center of your screen. Buff overlay works in tandem with big debuffs by adding icons to raid frames that indicate any active defensive cooldowns. This is super helpful for any healer as it minimizes the chance of any potential defensive overlaps. We also made a few improvements to Blizzard's default UI thanks to easy frames. If you're familiar with our retail package, this is the Kata substitute for better Blizz frames. We've adjusted its settings to display class icons instead of portraits, and then we've increased the size of the health bar for the player, target, and focus frame, while making sure all of these frames also display class colors, all with the goal of increasing visual clarity. Then for your target frame, we've increased the buff size slightly, and made any dispellable buff appear with a highlight. And finally, to reduce some clutter, we've also hidden the hit indicator on your frames to avoid seeing unnecessary damage text. Everything we've covered so far is a showcase of the most important PvP add-ons included in our package, but we threw in a few more to level up your UI even further. One of these add-ons is Loss of Control Alert, which is something you might already be familiar with. The simple display that shows active CC on your character in the center of your screen is not part of the default UI in Kata, so to make everyone's life easier, we've included this Lose Control style add-on in our package so you can easily see when you're in CC. We also included Frame Sort, which automatically places your character at the bottom of your raid frames, which makes it easier to use Party 1-2 macros. And since you will need to farm BG, and with the release of RBGs in Kata Classic, we've included Battleground targets as part of our package, which makes it easier to target enemy players from anywhere on the map. Finally, as an additional learning tool, we had to throw in details, so you can easily compare damage and healing breakdowns, or check death logs when you get one shot. Now obviously there is no edit mode for Kata Classic, so we needed a workaround. First, we use custom scripts to copy our unit frame layout from retail, with everything being perfectly aligned on your screen. Then, we use Bartender to handle everything else. Our Bartender profile includes five main bars, just like retail, and shoves your bags and other buttons into the bottom corner of the screen. We prefer Bartender because of its built-in quick bind system to change any key bindings with a simple mouse over, which is much easier than trying to do it through the classic WoW options. And if you don't want to use Bartender for whatever reason, keep in mind that you can simply disable it to preserve more of that classic feel. Finally, we automatically configure some additional settings in your UI, including some that are completely hidden, 
We did this by adjusting a bunch of conditional variables automatically, giving you the best settings once your profile is installed. One of these hidden settings is the spell queue window, which we automatically set at your latency plus 100. This adjusts the window of your next predicted spell cast, which is important for maximizing damage. If you want to adjust this at any time, simply type slash SC and click this box here. Our add-on mostly adjusts some general settings like increasing the maximum camera distance and setting the camera to never adjust. We also turned on target of target automatically since it is disabled by default. And then on every unit frame, we've enabled status text to show percents and numbers, but feel free to change this if you'd like. Then we enabled sticky targeting to make sure you stay attacking your target even if you accidentally click the ground. We also set auto dismount on so you can quickly dismount to enter combat, useful in arenas and in the open world. Speaking of which, we enabled instant quest text to make it easier to level, and turned on auto loot if it wasn't already. We then adjust some graphic settings, like making sure projected textures is enabled in order to see Ring of Frost and other ground AoEs. All these settings and more are instantly configured the moment you install our add-on. You can find our complete UI package that includes our revolutionary new add-on right now at skillcap.com. And while you're there, you can even preview our brand new classic website that includes hundreds of guides in collaboration with the best Kata players. You will learn everything from damage, CC, defensives, and more, making sure you won't miss out on getting the rating you deserve in classic. We back everything up with a 400 rating gain guarantee. As long as you are using our service, we promise you can hit your rating goals. Get started today by visiting the exclusive discount link below. Alright guys, that's it for this one. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.